okay guys welcome to this new youtube channel that belong to me this is joyper joyper sport youtube channel and today we are going to learn how we can log in into a nokia fpmr odu and a flex a flexi packet hub 800 it that now makes up the full uh, fpmr transmission system <clears throat> Uh, without further much ado, first of all, we need to configure uh, our Ethernet, uh, our Ethernet IP addresses, and to do so, let me plug in my adapter, network adapter, and. Uh, we go direct to the network uh, networking control panel. There is this command ncpa dot cpl. Eh? <laughs> if 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 you don't want to, if you are not you are good in co in those codes and shortcuts, eh? click enter, and you will be prompted with this interface here. Click Ethernet. The 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 mine is there under Ethernet four. Double click. Go to properties. Uh, open the properties after opening go to that uh, internet uh, IP version 4 and add the following IP addresses for you to be able to log in into the FPMR ODU you can either log in as a let me call it root or you can log it uh, okay you do log in differently the idu and the audio you log in differently and for you to be able to log in with the audio you can use the default ip address that is 192.168.2.255.3 that's the default ip address for the audio fpmr audio and the default ip address for the idu that is the flexi packet hub 800 is 192.168.254.100 and the subnet max is mask <laughs> sorry <laughs> is uh, 255.255.255.0 now in your computer or in your laptop set the following IP addresses 192.168.254. okay that's for audio the login IP address is, is 100 you can choose something like 108 well and good as far as they are all in the same same network do the same to the ip address to log into the audio that is it will be 192 uh, 192.168.255 and the last bit you can have something like 5 because the login ip address will be 192.168.255.3 now i had already said done that to my network and i see so let's close this and let's jump direct to the oh, our chrome now we will begin to log in into the odu eh? and when logging into the odu using the management ip address that is 192.168.255.3 make sure your web is connected to IDU port DCN and type the IP on the screen on your browser and just click enter. Uh, just click enter. Unfortunately, it's taking too long to load. uh if i don't want to do shortcuts eh? let's first of all start with the id so don't mind to log in in id you start with 192.100 yeah as you can see it's loading now you'll be prompted with this login interface the login interface you just click login from the, the local ip and it will download a certain java script or java java file just open that java file it will prompt you with the login 
is a login in interface or dial box. Wait for it to, after it has downloaded, open the open it and give it some time. Sometimes it do take time to prompt. Now, the password is admin. Oh, okay, the username is the admin and the password is SYS and the word manager. No spaces, no caps. SYS manager, small letters and click login. After clicking login, wait for it to login. Hello. Yep. Mambo. Sorry guys, I had to pick that call. Now, as you can see, I'm having issues to uh, when it comes in to login. Eh? If it fails to login, eh, you just change come here down because I'm using a lot of IP address that are configured to my laptop. Use that as the default and try to log in again. And let's see whether it will log in. If it fails, we still have to log in, man. We will have to log in. So be patient this job need patience and uh, that self what do we call it that 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 heart of yes i can yeah that's the thing so now as you can see yeah, it's failing to log me in to the idu and uh, i'm on obb port of which i'm supposed to be able to log in yeah? so what could be the issue Let's type again the password. The password was the issue because I had locked my caps. Eh? SYS manager. Manager. Should be logging now. As you can see now, we have successfully logged in into this site. And uh, let me capture everything. Too bad. <laughs> Uh, those are the flaws of this software that I'm using, but never mind. All in all, we're gonna cook it till we make it, fake it till we make it. Yeah, now 
we are logged into the IDU. IDU is just like a switch where the packets are managed, where routing is done, where villains are configured for the, the link. Uh, if you slide this up, eh, you can be able to see the active alarms that are present on that link at that time. If you hover your cursor here, you can be able to view those ports. Yeah. Uh, but because we are just doing the login, uh, we were just trying to log in. Eh? Uh, let's proceed and try to log into the ODU. Okay, this is the any management where if you want to see the configuration that are there already on site, uh, configuration management, you can take the backup from the IDU and so many things. Now, let us try to log in into IDU and call it a day. We'll continue this series as we learn. Actually, I've decided to do this because I've been looking for the content concerning the SPF uh, online, but in vain. I had to learn it through the hard way. So I have to, I had to make this video and upload it to the YouTube so that people can be able to learn. Eh? Now, for you to be able to log into the audio, you have to change your Ethernet cable from the OBB to DCN port so that you can be able to log in. And uh, Is there now we can close this one we no longer need it no longer need it hello yes what Yeah, okay. Okay, sir. Now, let's log into the uh, ODU. Eh? 153, it's loading that the IPs are loading. Eh? So don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. The IPs are loading. Uh, oh, If it fails, we can still use the configured IP address so that is 172.119.100. Eh? Uh, with time, we're going to know what these are. Okay. Actually, I cannot log in with the default IP address for that, 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 that thing. And uh, admin, SYS manager, login. Uh, the reason why. The, that IP failed is eh? we have tagged that port so we cannot be able to log in using the default IP address. We have to use the configured IP addresses. Now we can see the system configuration of the ODU, the name of the site, the link, 
blah 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 we can be able to see the parameter link parameter that is the rsls frequency the configured the modulation the bandwidth so many things we can be able to manipulate them from there we can be able to see the hardware and the software software inventory there it is it's hybrid valid uh -huh. we can go to operation and administration we can see the backup and restore we can take the backup of the site uh -huh. and so many things we can be able to see the alarms that are in that audio like currently we have time server missing yeah that's normal yeah, this site been so down for so long so the other end triggering that alarm and uh, thanks guys for that few time yeah and uh we're gonna continue with this series now this youtube channel joy Passploit, will be dealing with the cyber security ethical hacking and telecommunication stuff electrical stuff but the much anything that you feel like if you are tech uh, a tech atheist you are much welcome to this youtube channel make sure you like subscribe and watch moments share 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 we need we need more likes thanks but it's